by Yanker J. Austin and Ejiwa George is a member of the All Progressives Congress, APC, in Delta State. In 2015, he contested for the House of Representatives to represent Anyocha North in the State House of Assembly. In this interview, Inejiwa George bears his mind on the defections from the APC and how Comrade Adam Zoshiomhol as national chairman is bringing in fresh air. How do you see the emergence of a new APC leadership under Oshiomhol and how he is tackling the problems in the party? His emergence is a breath of fresh air, as you may want to know that Chief Odajioi Egun's tenure was riddled with controversies. His shoddy handling of party issues across the states gave birth to all the present rancor in the APC to the extent that chieftains, at a time, were demanding for his resignation. But Oshiomhol, going by what we have seen, is more experienced having been the leader of the NLC and served for eight years as governor. He's bringing his wealth of experience to bear on the issues in the party. He is also a proven Democrat. Delta State was enmeshed in crisis before Oshiomhol emerged on the scene. What is the situation now in Delta? APC is waxing stronger by the day in Delta with the influx of strong and experienced members joining the party. You have the likes of a former vice chairman of the PDP, Dr. Cairo Ayuogbo, Great Ogaburu now in Delta APC. The last local government elections were a good indicator of APC's strength and growth in the state not minding the shenanigan that has been the issue with the state electoral commissions as APC won in almost all the pollution units in Delta. With the emergence of the RAPC from the APC, do you foresee any tangible impact made by Oshiomhol before the 2019 elections? Oh yes. I see him making impact as he has started on a good note. I believe also that he has what it takes to whip erring members especially those who act like they own the party and with the line. You can see someone like Dr. Chris Ngage when members have complained that it has taken almost three years for board appointments to be done, has been waiting for months unending to inaugurate a board, especially one in which comrade Frank Kokori is a member. This is no way to treat a party elder or a good way to appreciate the support given by him to the party from inception. So Oshiam Hull is taking the bull by the horns by reading a riot act which is something we haven't seen in recent times. With the laudable projects embarked upon by Governor Okawa in Delta, and the rift in Delta APC, do you foresee the APC unseating the PDP in 2019? I don't know what your definition of performance is. Okawa and PDP have taken Delta back by 10 years. The noise of performance of the PDP in the state is only on the pages of newspapers. Infrastructure is in abysmal state, workers are owed over 10 months salaries and a suburb, the capital city, cannot boast of any good road, not to talk of other parts of Delta, a suburb is a no-go area any time it rains. Abandoned projects litter the state. Deltans have made up the minds to uproot PDP from the state come 2019 as they have seen the difference in development happening in neighboring states of Anambra and Edo which are not PDP governed. With the crisis in APC, do you see President Buhari emerging in 2019? There's no crisis per se in APC. We have is a bunch of disgruntled and self-seeking politicians who have lost relevance in the states and thinking they can cause havoc with the hope of cutting a deal. Buhari is a huge force. Mind you, Buhari formed the CPC few months to the 2011 elections and won in 18 states with over 12 million votes but no Senate or House of Representatives seat. Buhari's return is a done deal as this is not even about party but individual. What do you make of the massive defection of APC senators and reps to the PDP? The defections have no effect on the party. The defectors are basically politicians who have lost relevance in the various constituencies and are certain to fail at the primaries. These are people who rode on Buhari's back to get to where they are. 
On a good day, how can someone like Senator Ariyemi Smart lose to Dino Mele in Kogi State? Some of the National Assembly members have served two terms already and it's time for the seats to move to other zones in their constituencies, but, out of greed, they want to sit tight and hope the party will guarantee them, which is not the case. PDP, on the other hand, is luring them with guaranteed tickets to the detriment of those who have been working for the party when these people left for APC. That is another problem for the PDP when the time comes. Most of these people have been in government before 1999 and have refused to leave the stage for fresh ideas. Senator Gamade should be over 80. What is he looking for another ticket to do? Senator Shah Balafiaji was governor several years ago. Abdulaziz Nyako rode on his father's back to the Senate and now the father doesn't command the power anymore as the current governor has checkmated him. Basically, most of them don't have political relevance anymore hence this charade, note down the names and check again in 2019 if you'll see them. It's good riddance to bad rubbish what does such move portray come 2019 for the APC? It has no effect on the party of the next elections as APC will retain power and will win more states, PDP is a dead party. If these people have true relevance, I dare them to form a party and field one of their own as the presidential candidate like Buhari did with CPC. Rather than form a VPRT coup junketing back and forth in parties, he should form a party and let's see how many votes he can get. Saraki and co should do the same rather than making noise about being political weights that exist only in the minds. They should put money where the mouth is rather than looking for ready-made structures to harvest.